Here at 1869 Cornet, we have a large magnolia tree here. Now, this is just a typical application of what happens when you're removing the concrete. You can see the root structure that is just matted underneath the existing concrete. And this is why uh, a barrier application is pretty much necessary. When we come in here and remove the concrete, we should be trenching down and throwing in a 12 inch material right along the side of the tree here. And all this root application, once it's removed, it's not gonna come back. It's gonna buy us time, buy us the years that we need. But when you remove the concrete and just throw in your forms, cut your existing roots, this is a problem. We'll be back probably within 24 months to 36 months and we'll be having a lift with a problem again. This is a quick example to see how far this one tree is away from your footpath. And this distance, still the tree roots have picked up the sidewalk and created a hazardous trip and fall application. Now, before the concrete is poured back in, simple application would be install a 12 inch root barrier along the residential side here. This is one of a hundred locations to be on Hallbrook and the address is 1752, in which you have trees alongside the sidewalk areas where the aggressive tree roots have actually picked up the sidewalk. That and the root mass that has just been cut right here along the form, we should be dropping in a root barrier. And then what that would do is keep the tree roots from coming back underneath the concrete and you can see here and then picking up the new cement you can see these feeder roots are still here under the cement still attached large roots like this here that's still in the soil and creating a problem this should be severed over by the form and a barrier installed um, this is the proper installation that should be done and it will actually save the city tens of thousands of dollars in hazardous trip and falls that will be happening in just a matter of years after this work is already done.